Hi guys, this is Zoe. I'm in LA right now getting ready for Excision the Stadium tonight. I'm gonna show you guys how I got to this hair and makeup look. So if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get started. So here's my bare face. I just showered, I dried my hair, and I put up these hair roller thingies to keep like my hair away from my face and I obviously did my skincare um, because it is a rave event and I'm gonna use like the fullest coverage foundation. But first things first, we need to get another primer on my face. Today I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, Soft Silk Pro Filter. It is very hydrating and I've tried a million different primers. I feel like this one is by far the best value. Skin condition is obviously not the best right now and I personally usually do my eye makeup first but lately I've been like watching a lot of videos and everyone's been doing their foundation first and I guess it does help like all the makeup apply more evenly which is what I'm gonna do but I primer first totally forgot about that using the NYX proof it I've used it since high school so that's I don't know how many years ago <laughs> But yes, this is the best I've tried. Okay, so that's the setting part done. Foundation. This is a new acquisition, Hourglass um, Vanish. I use, I think, the palest, which is Blanc. And then I mix it with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour. Like it's legitimately like it could stay on your face for 24 hours. You could spend the night somewhere else and then go back home and your foundation is still on. It's crazy. This is a regular beauty blender I got from Miss A. For you guys who don't know the site Miss A, y'all need to go check it out. Cause it's $1 makeup, $2 at most. I get like my basic stuff from there. I get my lashes from there like I don't know how they do it but they have so many good products for such a low price like I'm just so glad I found that site excision tonight is like a six hour event and he's in, in indoors at the Bank of California Stadium a little overpriced for for what we get, but the lineup is legit. Gotta make sure you look good for dubstep God. <sighs> I know I look really, really pale because I always choose the lightest shade. When it comes to this, I feel like I really have that like Chinese influence. Um, that like pale is like our kind of beauty standard. You know, like pale, skinny, like that's kind of our are aesthetics, I guess. So I'm a little more influenced by that. I feel like this part, you really, really gotta like take your time and like work it in, you know? That's the key. Next up, uh, we're gonna do my eyes, which is kind of the focus of the makeup look. You get your dark, smoky look for a dubstep excision event. I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the Sophisticate palette. Four shades in there. I'm gonna start with like the base color. Same thing, Amazon, um, like a blending brush. I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelid. And if you just see like the stitches on my eyelids, it's from like my plastic surgery in Korea about a month ago. If you guys wanna know more about plastic surgery, like comment and then I'll post up another video on it. I have quite a lot of work done. That's done. And then the next one, um, obviously the blending color. I mean, this is very like intuitive for most girls. Three colors, I'm gonna use three different brushes from like the most, the loosest, I guess, to like the most like dense brush.
order of operations always like back to front for your darker colors make sure you blend it out on your entire lid you see like it just blends so well like oh i'm so in love <sighs> Next up, we have like this is a very like dense brush, I would say, but then it's also really fluffy on the top. Um, I actually can't find this brush like a dupe anywhere else. So, Luxie, you guys are doing something right. I'm gonna pick this up with like the fourth darkest color. And next up, we're gonna do our lashes and eyeliner, which is my favorite part. Eyeliner, I am using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Uh, don't judge me, it's gonna be a little dirty and it's sometimes like the ink explodes. That I'm gonna blame the plane for it because it usually does that. Um, the Kat Von D like tattoo liner, that one was like my go-to for the longest time. But then I feel like maybe I use it too much. It just ran out of ink really quickly. So I swapped to this one which is longer lasting and I would definitely use this for rave events where you're gonna sweat, it's gonna be like wet, people are spilling drinks and water on you sometimes. You're gonna get messy, so I gotta use something like this. Like if there was only three things I could bring onto an island, it's gonna be like an eyeliner, a lipstick, and then like a knife. Cause you gotta get like a combination of your superficial and your practical. Although I would say like makeup is my survival because people treat you very differently when you're like low, not low maintenance, but then like if you're not doing a lot of makeup versus like for girls at least, I get treated very different. Like there's this one time I went to Vegas with my sister and then like I like kind of walked in the hotel all like, oh, we just got off the plane. Like I had my glasses on, I had no eyebrows obviously. And then like people didn't greet us. And the minute like we got ready and then went out, it's kind of like all eyes on us. The valet is being nice. The front desk is being nice. Like you'd be surprised. I don't blame people for that. I think it's very like subconscious. Like when you're easy on the eyes, people just tend to be nicer to you. So makeup can be survival too. All the guys watching this, like I don't think you guys know what girls do. So if your girlfriend is putting on makeup for you, dolling up for you, appreciate her. Cause this is borderline surgery, man. Like, look at how detailed that is. Okay, lashes next. I am nothing without my lashes. So, <laughs> this is Gaia from, again, Miss A. 3D Foaming. A dollar and 80 cents. Like, great value. Insane. You could, like, lose these and you don't feel guilty about it. I get, like, at least like 30 pairs every time I shop on there. And then like these tweezers too. And then their lash glue. And then like everything. This is obviously very dramatic. Again, this is like a rave look. I'm not gonna wear this to my office or like on the first date, probably not. But to each their own. <laughs> We got the other eye going. They have like this Sahara rose, like everyone was wearing it. It's beautiful. Like it's like not gray, but also has a pinkish tone to it, which I love. Like it just worked really well with my skin tone. But then after my eye surgery, it just looked too much on me. So I don't wear those anymore. But I feel like if you're going for like a dramatic look for like an event, Totally do some cool color contacts. Same thing on the other side, curl your lashes. See, this is from Miss A too. I cannot rave enough about their products. Especially if it's $1, like what's holding you back? And there you go. Okay, a little mascara to top it off, kind of seal like your both layers of your lashes. Super important step. This is a Dior waterproof um, mascara. I don't know a lot about mascaras because with Asian lashes, like you have no lashes. Like when I want lashes, I wear falsies. I don't go for 
mascara. This, I don't even know if they still produce these. This is definitely like, I think it was a sample from a friend who works at Nordstrom and she just kind of grabbed everything for me and then I've been just using it. Uh. Free stuff is the best stuff. Free food always tastes better. So next stop, we are gonna do my eyebrows. As you can see, I naturally don't have any eyebrows. So thanks mom. For brows, obviously Anastasia Beverly Hills, everyone's holy grail product. Um, their brow gel and their, what is this, brow whiz. I'm using Ebony, which is like the black color basically, because while you guys fill in your eyebrows, I literally have to draw them on. <laughs> So, um, yeah, let's get this process started. It, it really, practice makes perfect here. I remember I used to have very, very arched eyebrows or very, very flat eyebrows, depending on like what the trend was at the moment. Slowly you'll start to learn your bone structure and then like learn what your best look is, which is the great thing about insecurity is that like you try to focus on that area and work on it, right? Like I was insecure about my body for the longest time. I started working out and then, you know, all this like Instagram, like, um, just social media influences gives you like body dysmorphia it's always a progress to kind of work it through but you know if you're insecure about something work on it eventually you won't be so obviously I'm blonde but I think black works because I toned my hair a little and it's like a silver blonde now I'm telling you if you're if you don't have eyebrows and you go blonde that's like the worst thing ever because then you can't draw on your brows because the product is too light and you're like okay now what you know like how do i even fill in my eyebrows at least that was my struggle i don't know if y'all <laughs> actually have experienced that before or you guys are just lucky and born with brows do not take that for granted If you guys have like a longer lasting brow product that you know of, let me know. Because sometimes after a rave, I still feel like I'm at the end of my eyebrows are kind of like gone. <laughs> like, <laughs> so hard to like make them even. And then like, you know, you got to have a little bit of imagination there. Like, where do you want your eyebrows to go? Which I guess is a good thing because then you get to like have different eyebrows on different days depending on your makeup look because you have no natural eyebrows. Um... Despite that, I am going to use a brow gel, and it's actually a blonde brow gel. I feel like it does lighten up my eyebrows a little, and it just works better with my hair. Yes, Asian girl with blonde hair is a lot of maintenance, but it is so worth it. You just stand out, you know? So this is a Sephora, just their regular brow gel app. I was debating if I should get the blonde or the taupe, and I think the blonde works well, but this is like my third day trying it, so we shall see. You see, it does like lighten it up a little, it makes it a little more natural. Obviously, we are not naturally blonde. People ask me that all the time. And there's also people who are saying like, oh, you're Asian, you have blood hair, you look so exotic. I'm like, that is definitely like objectification there. Like, I do not want to be called exotic. Thank you. Okay. And there's our eyebrows. Hopefully the last entire night. So next up, we are doing our contour, color correction, concealer, like wrapping up the rest of my face uh, because foundation is basically just a base for me. Um... And we start with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate 0.5 palette. Do not judge me. My brushes are super dirty all the time, so it gets on there. Um, I don't really have an opinion between, like, regular contour, like the, the powder types, and then the cream contour. I feel like they do have the same effect, which is honestly amazing if you think about it. Like, they somehow can make a cream so blendable and basically have let you have so much control over it so i think it's amazing and especially tom ford it just gives you that glowy look get the job done you're done um but i do know that you're supposed to go actually 
right here like outside of your eyes a little i learned this from like pony makeup <laughs> she's so pretty <laughs> um but she also has she's like super professional right so she knows like all the tips and tricks so instead of your regular like three kind of style i don't care much to highlight my cheekbones and instead just kind of like making my face a little slimmer smaller whoops too much contour there Obviously, the nose contour is next, but I usually like to conceal before I do that. So do the lighter shades first and then do the darker shades, especially when I like to highlight my entire nose, which I'm so excited about because I got this NYX palette. This is a color correction palette. Very new to me. I don't know if it actually works instead of uh, in, in terms of like, you know, how makeup works, like dark circles, purples, you use yellow to cover it up. Like that seems a little too easy, you know, <laughs> but Anyhow, I'm trying it out and we should see if like it lasts the entire night, if I look better in photos. Um, but yeah, so basically just the yellow part that I use. I haven't like ventured out to all these other colors. Not, you know, super pro when it comes to this, but... Ooh, I also have, used to have red hair and that looks so good with my like yellow skin. But it's just a little bit extra and aggressive. Versus my blonde now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with a smaller beauty blender. Again, Miss A. It's not sponsored, but I just love their products. So all the girlfriends, you need to go on that side. Right? It's not like too unnatural. And you can really see like my dark circles are being covered. Um, I took my eye bags out in Korea too. So that helped. Mmm. -hmm. I think the opinion there is that if you have dark circles just because you don't didn't get enough sleep then it's easy to cover because it's just a color but if you have eye bags they are you know they're like 3d so like you can't really no matter how much makeup you put on there um you might still see a little bit i mean you could face tune it out um but in person it might still show a little not promoting plastic surgery but If you want something fixed, I think we should all work towards that. But there's that. And then I still need to conceal my under eyes. Um, usually I use this Chanel. Um, why does it not say? Oh, there's a logo here. Chanel concealer because it's like the most blendable concealer I've ever used. Um, but today, since we're going for fuller coverage, I actually have a drugstore. One L'Oreal. L'Oreal's getting a little more expensive these days. I thought this was like $7.99, but it's actually like $13.99. <laughs> but it works and it lasts and it does increase. So we're gonna do that. It's very, very full coverage though, so I wouldn't do your usual like huge triangle. I feel like that's too much product. Around your mouth and your little forehead a little highlight and conceal at the same time. And then we got our patty motion. I look, looks so great. Like, I can't believe, like, L'Oreal's foundation and their concealer, like, made it to my top list. Especially for rave makeup. Okay. And I think that's all set for now. Um, and then the last step in terms of, like, concealing and um, color correcting and um, contouring, this is... The Fenty Beauty Amber 01 Match Stick. This is a very cool toned shade. So compared to like the Tom Ford here, you can obviously see like it's a warmer tone compared to this stick. And the reason why is that for your nose, um, you want it to look like natural shading. Again, I learned it from Pony Makeup. So like a natural like shadow, that would be like a cooler tone. If you just have like warm tones on there, it's not the end of the world, but you know, it doesn't look as natural, and I just feel like with nose contour, you gotta be a little sneaky. You know, you do not want to see a line on there. I'm just gonna place it around the major areas, center, and then my nose tip, just like that. Like, yeah, I'll always add a little more later. I don't know if you guys know, like, the app Little Red Book, um, it's like all Chinese. You have so many beauty influencers on there, all from China. But they have really good tips. So definitely remember to like blend it into your eyeshadow. That's what 
makes it so much more natural. And just gonna blend the other side in. Blend it into your eyeshadow. I really, really think like the gray tone works. So natural. Okay. And that is it for the light and shade. I'm gonna um, wrap it up with the NYX HD. You guys have noticed I use a lot of NYX products. Um, it's just the fact that like I went into drugstore products first and then the fact that they could keep me as a customer, I think that says something. I just haven't tried out anything else because it's, the product just works so great. I have zero complaints about it. I should venture out, but as of right now, I'm just using the finishing powder in HD. Um, sometimes I use like a powder foundation to set my makeup, but it does get cakey. So maybe with a lighter um, coverage foundation, you'd want to do that to kind of like reinforce your base a little. Something like this, I feel like just a, a setting powder would work. And then plus it's like, you know, it's translucent, so you don't have to worry about like the areas for your contour. Matte and nice. Okay, and then next up, we are gonna wrap up my lower lash line, which is really, really fun because I don't usually line my waterline on my lower lash line. Um, so I'm going to show you guys that next. So for my lower lash line, I am obviously going to use the same um, palette, same color scheme, but, you know, different areas, different brush. This is the one I used for this color um, early on my upper eyelid, but I'm going to pick up, like, the blending shade here. Obviously, for your lower eyelids, you just got to be a little more focused. For your lower lash line everyone's eyes different though with like the darkest shade here outer corners first don't go into your waterline yet you just make sure you got to connect like your upper eyelids and your lower eyelids we are gonna line everything up and make me look twice as aggressive um this is just oh i forgot to mention earlier just revlon color stay um eyeliner i'm sure there are a million other options out there just make sure you get like a waterproof one um, that's all that really matters okay i to be real careful here Ooh, see now that's a good thing but that also means that it's gonna be really hard to remove double-edged sword can't get one without the other I love that. Okay, and then the other side. And then that's a wrap for the eyes. So we're just gonna do my blush, set everything, and obviously lipstick next. And we'll be done with the look. So next up we have my blush. I already put setting powder on it. I don't think it matters because this, ooh, Jaclyn, Rouge Romance. JacquelineCosmetics.com. I thought it was Morphe, but I got it in the Morphe store. But cool, it's Jacqueline. Whatever this is, I like the formula. Um, it sticks on really well, but also means it's a little harder to blend. Um, but it's just very long lasting. And if I'm going out to drink, because I get Asian glow, so I don't put on blush. But then if I'm going to rave, it just added adds that like little, you know, hint of color. I love. I think I'm gonna use Pretty Posh. Here, which is my go-to shade. You can see it's a new palette, but I've obviously used this one the most. And always start like outside of your eye here and then kind of blend it in. I think this is definitely the trend right now to do blush all the way up to your kind of cheekbones a little. I think that's cute. And people love to put like blush on their nose too. like. Blush makes me happy. I think pink color makes me really happy. Just add that hint of color on your forehead if you want, on your chin. You don't look like super pale in your photos, like you're a vampire. I love that. Again, I picked up like such little of this like product, and it's so pigmented. 
my lipstick. I got Fenty Beauty. I think I already like used like three of their products today because it's such like long lasting, full coverage and all that. And with lipstick, you definitely want to, it's not going to last all six hours at a rave when you're drinking water and talking to people and you're making out. <laughs> but, you know, like this is probably by far like the longest lasting lipstick I've used other than NYX. And I do bring a lipstick into the menu, but sometimes it has to be sealed and all that. So get your coverage when you can. You're going to see like it's super red. Okay. And then we're going to clean that up. I think overlining your lips is the trend right now, thanks to Kylie Jenner. But it does make your face look smaller if you think about it. Like, if your features are bigger, then your face, like, proportionally looks a little smaller. Um, I mean, that's one type of aesthetic. It makes your chin a little shorter, just like geometrically speaking, you know. And then our final step, we have our setting spray. I am using the e.l.f. one, super affordable. Um, I usually go for the NYX one, or I think there's like Revolution, that's like the sports fix. Those really, really lock in your makeup. Like, um, I also use the Tom Ford one, which is obviously a lot more expensive. It gives you like so much, like a dewy look, but it doesn't lock it in as well. It could just be like, all natural products. I use it for my daily looks, but for raves, I go for these wands and our favorite part. Be real generous with it. Could be a placebo effect, but I feel like without my setting spray, my makeup runs. It does run either way, but that's it. And we are gonna move on to hair next. So obviously I removed like the hair roller thingies and you can see it just gives your hair like that extra volume that I love so much. So we can obviously work that in with our trusty little Dyson air wrap today. This is my holy grail. Doesn't damage your hair as much. It's super fast. It's super efficient. I don't go anywhere without it. Um, but we're going to do some soft curls today. Just kind of make our give our look a little that extra oomph. So, brushing it out. And I don't usually use the cold boost. I think it's supposed to cool down your hair. But again, great hair quality from my hair extensions. I'm gonna do inner curls today. looks like I section a lot more on the left but again I wouldn't call this like beach hair but I feel like this looks really nice with like how it frames my face I'm gonna do my bangs in a little but on the right we're just gonna use another direction a little more flow just do however you like it volume okay and then I'm gonna work on my bang here these roller brush, this trick I learned from my hairstylist at Jean Juarez. Gives the best blowouts ever. So you basically gotta pull towards the back. Doesn't matter which direction of the curl it is, but it just has to go towards the back. bed hair kind of look like you don't care much about your part since I play with my hair a lot anyway but to finish up I have this Olaplex N7 bonding oil I think well first of all it's a travel size so I can just bring it on a plane and then it just adds a lot of shine to your hair like after you curl it 
You can use it after shower while your hair is still wet too. We are gonna move on to my outfit next, which I'm super excited to show you guys because it's a cute leopard look. So let's go get changed. 